Here are 17 things that every strand hunter should know. Popping your super gives you full abilities. Though you get infinite grapples, if you have the grapple grenade equipped, you can only use two charges in the air at a time. As soon as you touch the ground, you get both of those charges instantly refreshed. This is not to be confused with using already existing grapple points. If you're creating a new grapple point, you can only use two in the air before needing to touch the ground. Even if you aren't running the grapple grenade, your grenade actually gets converted to a grapple while you are in your super. However, you only end up being able to use one charge instead of two compared to when you use the actual grapple grenade. You can hang infinitely on your grapple as long as you continue to keep the grapple point in your FOV. As soon as it leaves your FOV, you will disconnect from the grapple point. The threat of ascent buff you see on the side of your screen is the duration your most recent grapple point has before it will disappear. It is also the timer for your increased airborne effectiveness and handling buff. You may notice that your melee icon changes while you are in the middle of grappling. It switches from your threaded spike icon to a generic fist icon. While this fist icon is active, you can perform a melee lunge mid-air to either attack an enemy or as a means of advanced movement. One thing I've noticed is that if you're using a controller and your melee keybind is set to auto melee, Sometimes your threaded spike melee will activate instead of the melee lunge, even though the generic fist icon is showing. The way you can fix this is by unbinding your auto melee keybind and switching it to your uncharged melee keybind. This should allow you to consistently use the melee lunge after you grapple. Woven Mail is a new buff that grants damage reduction and flinch resistance. And one of the ways to activate this is by using the new exotic helmet, Seared Arachne's Facade. This simply gives you Woven Mail for 10 seconds each time you use your grapple. I'll explain how the damage reduction benefit can be infinitely refreshed in just a second, but the flinch resistance buff cannot be refreshed infinitely. It will cycle through its cooldown as normal, and then once it's completely gone, you can refresh it. The damage reduction you get from woven mail is actually only towards body shot damage. Headshot damage towards you will remain unchanged. There's a few things you can do to infinitely get your grapple charges and gain the woven mail buff. Once you activate your grapple charge, you can insta cancel by tapping your grenade button a second time. This leaves your grapple point right next to you. Use your second grapple charge on the grapple point and you can refresh woven mail to 10 seconds without your grapple charge being used since it's not creating a new point. This also completely refreshes the threat of ascent buff I mentioned earlier, which indicates the duration your grapple point has before it goes away. On top of this, if you're using grenade kickstart mods on your gauntlets, you're also gaining grenade energy each time you activate your grapple on that already existing grapple point. The fastball armor mod, which increases grenade throw distance, does not affect how far your grapple can be used. You can directionally dive with the ensnaring slam aspect. The dive will actually take you about 11 meters in whatever direction you decide to go. You can also do a straight down dive by not aiming anywhere. Mods like Bomber and Outreach do not activate with Ensnaring Slam, which takes your class ability charge when activated. However, Utility Kickstart does activate with Ensnaring Slam, just not when you're wearing 6 Coyote. It doesn't explicitly say this, but in order for Utility Kickstart to activate, your class ability charge has to be completely depleted. So if you've got a build centered around suspending enemies and you're not using 6 Coyote, I highly suggest using Kickstart mods. If you get a kill using the grapple melee after you grapple, it actually counts as a grenade kill. Mods like Firepower, which produces an orb of power on grenade kills, and Momentum Transfer, which grants melee energy on grenade kills, will activate off your grapple melee kill in both PvP and PvE. You gain an additional jump after you grapple. So in other words, if you jump and then grapple, you will regain your jump back even if you're still in the air. Jumping before you grapple also makes you go faster and farther. Exotics like Dragon Shadow will not activate off the ensnaring slam aspect because the game doesn't register the activation of the slam as a class ability, therefore not triggering Wraith Metal Mail. However, the six coyote and even radiant dance machines will benefit from the ensnaring slam being activated. 